whenever I'm in the coastal plain, I always look at these like little ponds like this, these little depressions. Uh, sometimes they're even gator holes where gators will dig out an area to hold water through the winter. Uh, but I always check these out just because this is a really good habitat for chicken turtles. And chicken turtles are really hard to find um, if you don't really know where to look. And even when you do know where to look, they can just be really elusive. So I always check these just in case. This is another larger pond and lots and lots of vegetation. So this is really good for chicken turtles, uh, but it being larger and a little deeper, I'm willing to bet there's a gator in here. So I'm gonna be a little bit careful when I check this one out. And if I see a turtle, I need to make sure I know that it's safe, but definitely worth looking into. Checking out this swamp, jumped in the mud because I saw a turtle running by. Caught this guy, another kind of cooter that lives down here in South Georgia. This is Sudemis floridana, the coastal plain cooter. And these guys range all the way down into Florida where they're previously called the peninsula cooter. But they're all Florida cooters, they're all coastal plain cooters. And I'm a little out of breath trying to get out of that mud. Oh my gosh. I stepped into it thinking it was solid and sank all the way up to my waist to get this tank of a cooter and it's funny because you would think with cooters you know the males are typically typically males are pretty sleek but this one's really bulky so that's pretty neat i've never seen a male coastal plain cooter built quite like this but uh, these guys are easily identified by the donuts on the marginals and incomplete hairpins on top of the head Let's see if we can get them to stick that head out nope not going to All right, so the next turtle is a favorite on this channel. And this is a male loggerhead musk turtle. You can tell he's a male by his large tail. And he's, you can tell he's old because he's got those huge areas of uh, skin on the plastron. And even though he's a loggerhead musk turtle, this guy's head isn't that large because he comes from a stream that has no native snails. So instead he has to feed on small mussels and little clams. So he does get a slightly enlarged head, but not the head that you're gonna see in the springs or in a creek that has like a native snail population. Uh, so pretty neat, good looking male loggerhead musk. I'm gonna take a couple pictures of him and then let him go. All right, so this is something I haven't really walked up on in a long, long time, but got a nice looking common snapping turtle just basking on this log. I mean, he's totally happy where he's at. Um, it's really cool because I'm actually walking this creek looking for alligator snapping turtles and the odds of walking up on a basking common snapper who looks, I mean, as happy as he can possibly be. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, really stoked to be able to see this, but it's really neat to come out here looking for alligator snapping turtles and to see a common snapping turtle and to see one basking like this is just awesome. Uh, I rarely get to see these guys basking, especially adults. And this guy is quite happy. Uh, it looks like he's about to take off. I'm going to get a quick photo and see you. All right. So he looks like he's about ready to slide off. I'm probably going to walk up a little bit, uh, but pretty cool to see this guy. I'm going to see if when I walk by, he jumps off. Looks like he is. I'm really not gonna bother him, but it's okay, buddy. You're good. I'm not here to bother you. Oh, you can slide off if you want. It's okay. All right, this is gonna be hard to see, so I'm gonna use my polarized glasses, and we'll see if we can maybe zoom in on this guy. There is a brown water snake on the bottom right there. He's actually moving across the bottom. And because I use these polarized glasses, I'm able to see through the water a little bit better. All right, I see some pretty big swanee cooters. Let's see if I can get one of these in hand. Oh, I got you, girl. Oh, that's a big turtle. Look at that. Oh my God, one in ran into my legs. <laughs> All right, let's let her go. There's a male swanee cooter right here feeding on some plants. Come here, buddy. Ah. Ah. Oh, I got him. 
There we go, typical male Swanee Cooter with those really long nails on the front. Awesome pattern. Now these guys are considered Eastern River Cooters now, but at one point they were their own species. They were Pseudemys consina swaneensis, um, and now they're just down to Pseudemys consina. But look at that beautiful coral orange on the bottom. Long nails, beautiful eyes. Let's let this guy go. All right, buddy, we'll see you later. Right, so this is a very old yellow-bellied slider male. You can tell he's a male by the long claws. And he also takes on this dark melanistic patterning and very typical for these guys. But just wanted to show you a yellow-bellied slider because a lot of times people confuse those with cooters. And you can see why they think they're so similar. Gotcha. Nice little male Florida cooter. You can get a good shot here of those unconnected hairpins on the top of the head that separate this from the south more southern portion that separates this guy from the more southern population in peninsular Florida where they're called the peninsula cooter and those hairpins on top of the head actually meet in that population. Uh, but here they are just, uh, just the coastal plain cooter and that's actually what they rename these guys. All right, guys, so I had to switch to the GoPro because my phone ran out of memory. So we're going to finish out this little walk. Oh, look, Sawani Cooter right there. <laughs> I don't think he even knows I'm right here. That's a really old male Sawani, and he's trying to eat whatever that weird piece of algae-covered wood or whatever is. But yeah, that's pretty neat. So I'm just walking the base of this dam. Um, a lot of times at impoundments, it's like a really good place to find where turtles have been kind of kind of cramped up in a certain area um, and in this case these guys like to bask here but they also feed on the plants and the algae that are growing off of the rocks so uh, it's a good place to take advantage of especially right now when the water is low because the water is normally not this low so I'm able to do something that I don't normally do um, and I wouldn't advise anybody else to do this unless you've had a little bit of practice uh, being at the base of a dam can be a little bit dangerous and scary uh, so just enjoy my videos, don't try to do what I do. And we'll see what we can get. We've already had quite a few cooters today. And we started off the day pretty strong with, you know, Florida cooters, Solani cooters. I can see some milling around the bottom over here. Looks like a couple really big ones. And you know, their size is impressive. These guys get really large. You can see, I can see one hanging out at the bottom of this concrete post and it looks like it's deciding if it's going to take off. There's one up for air over there. The one in front of me that's a female, is, she looks pretty big. Definitely not the biggest one I've seen. Let me see if I can get, get her in hands. Whoa. There you go. That is a big turtle. Look at that. Whew. That is one massive basking turtle look at the size of that the swanee cooter is truly an impressive beast so i'm actually able to see them because i'm using these ugly polarized glasses and it actually lets me see straight through the water so i can see everything that's on the bottom um, works really well makes makes turtles just stand out um, you know i see a male swimming around right there i mean with the cooters i can just see them everywhere that they're swimming around. There's a male, looks like he's on top of a female. <laughs> That's pretty wild. So yeah, you'll see a lot of times with the cooters, you'll see them actually on each other's backs and they're eating the algae off of each other's backs. Yeah, here's a male right here on the back of a female. Ow, those claws are so sharp. Another female right here. She's just trying to hide out in these plants. That might even be the one that I caught earlier. I'm just gonna leave her alone. All right, let's see if you guys can see this guy. Look right there. Just hiding out. Ugh. Good sized female. She's just hiding in those plants. That's what they do. They use those stripes to hide out among the plants 
And it actually blends in pretty well. This one actually has like an interesting kind of dent along that part of the shell right there. Wonder if she um, fell down the dam and got a crack. I'm gonna let her go right back where I found her, back into those plants. Or she's gonna jump over to there. Well, this guy looks like he fell down the dam. Let's see if we can help him out. There's a lot of rocks right here, so I gotta be careful. But we're gonna try and help this turtle out. Ugh, turtle rescue! I got you, buddy. There you go. You're good. Feels good. Always feels good to help one out. That guy was stuck. He was stuck upside down. That was no good. All right, guys. So hope you can hear me. Um, I had a good day. I think um, I think this is a pretty good day. We uh, saw some turtles, saw cooters, we saw some musk turtles, and uh, basking snapping turtles. So I'm pretty stoked on that. So uh, I will see you guys next time. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Join my Patreon if you want to see extra content. I post extra stuff up on there for the Patreon members. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Peace.